What a day, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grove, your extreme outdoorsman. I am just getting back from the lake. I took a two hour trek up north in northern Michigan today, chasing after giant northern pike and big walleye with my really, really good fishing buddy, Blue Jays Outdoors. We actually filmed a really cool video catching all kinds of different species from largemouth, smallmouth, catfish, walleye, pike, rock bass. It was an incredible day out there, but we actually kept some of the pike and walleye and in today's video you've probably seen from the title and the thumbnail but i'm gonna be doing a catch and clean i've got a couple different walleyes in here some pike and i'm gonna cut these things up and have them for dinner i told my fiance gabby actually that if i caught some today i would bring them home and cook them up for because she really likes eating all these walleye and pike so it's gonna be pretty fun i figured i would do a little video showing you guys how to clean mean these walleye and pike. I've never done any videos like this across my channel, but I figured it'd be pretty fun and show you guys how to clean these walleye and northern pike. So a little background with my fish cleaning experience. I've actually been cleaning fish for a long, long time. I grew up fishing the Great Lakes, Lake Michigan with my uncle. He lived right over in Ludington, Michigan, and we would always go out there on his big salmon boat. It was a really, really nice sea ray boat, and we caught so many big salmon out there, and I just grew up cleaning all those fish. Whenever we'd catch them, he'd, my uncle would make us clean them, so that was always fun. He showed us how to do everything, and once we learned, it was just me and my twin brother cleaning them every time we caught them. So I'm gonna clean these real quick. I've got a couple walleye, like I said. Here is one of them. And a really good thing to do when you catch those fish is to cut their gills when you catch them out on the lake just so they bleed out. And all you have to do is grab a pair of scissors and cut those gills right there while it's there in the live well because then there's going to be no blood or anything when you're cleaning them so that's always a really good almost dropped it right there but that's always a really good tip to do that so it's not super messy but there's one of the walleyes we caught right there nice keeper size i got three walleyes that i kept we caught a bunch of other fish but i just kept three and then one nice pike there's another one we caught right there i'll show you the pike that i caught and then we caught another little walleye but check out this pike i caught really nice one that's gonna be a good eater for sure holy crap i'm really excited to get these in the frying pan and eat them but I'm gonna put that back and cut up these walleyes, show you guys how I do it. So guys, right here, like I said, we got three really good eater size walleyes, but the number one thing when you're cutting up fish is to have a really sharp knife and a fillet knife, but I actually just took my fillet knife, I gave it to my dad actually not too long ago, so I don't have it over here at my house, but I think this knife will do. I'm gonna try this knife right here and see what happens, but I think it'll get the job done. Like I said, um, you really wanna have a fillet knife, but I don't have one right now, so we're gonna have to work with this knife. But right now, you wanna start right behind this gill plate, if you can see this right here, and angle your knife back there and just cut right into there right behind that gill plate to where you're cutting right to the backbone right here. And you don't wanna cut through the backbone, you just wanna get to the backbone. And when you feel it right there, stop. And then the next thing what I'm gonna do is just work my knife all the way down his back right here. And then once you get to the butt, just stick it all the way through like that and cut it. So I'm gonna show you how to do this right here. Make sure your knife is always angled right towards the backbone to be able to get as much meat as possible. So I can feel the backbone with my blade right there. You're just gonna ride that backbone all the way to the back back here to where it's almost at the buttocks. And it's like right past the buttocks. So I'm gonna stick my knife right through there i guess it's not going through right now just because this knife's not the greatest for cutting but it's working pretty decent but just you can also just cut right to the back just like that 
And you can see right away, I already have a good fillet forming right there. I cut right along that backbone perfectly to where I have as much meat as possible for when you're taking this fish home and eating it. But right now I'm just gonna continuously work this backbone. And you wanna always have your blade face the ribs, the rib cage, just so you're getting as much meat as possible. Just really making sure you get all the meat you can, but just working it just like that. You don't have to go fast. You can if you want, if you're super good at it already, but I try to go slow to make sure I get as much of the meat as possible. Cause this stuff is like gold, super good. But just like that, super slowly, and we've almost got this side done. Just like that. You can cut it like that. And there we go with that side. Just like that. And there you got a really nice piece of meat that you can put in the fryer and chow down. So I'm gonna do that on the same side right here. You're gonna wanna just grab the fish and go right behind that gill plate and just angle it just like that to where you're cutting just to the backbone. And you don't want to cut through the backbone because that's just going to mess up the whole fillet. And you're not going to be able to get a bunch of meat out of it. But there's that piece right there. And usually I'll always cut all my walleye up and then I'll start dicing them in little pieces. And I always have a little bucket right here to put all my fish in. Right now, just gonna continuously cut down the backbone right here, just like this. And remember, like I said, you, you always wanna have your knife face the bone, just so you're not cutting into the meat. So I'm following that backbone right here, right along the backbone, making sure I'm not cutting through the backbone. But there we go. Just like that. This knife isn't the greatest, I'll tell you that, but I'm making it work. But just like the other side, now that you have this main piece right here, you wanna just work it super slow and have it right along the, that rib cage. This, this knife's not too bad, guys. It's working. Can't say I've ever done a catch and clean video here on the channel, but figured I'd try it out. I've always had a lot of people ask me to do it on the on the channel, so figured I caught some decent walleyes. I would do a quick video for you guys, showing you guys how I clean all these fish that I catch. I don't usually keep a ton of fish. I'm more of a catch and release guy, but my fiance, Gabby, when she says she wants some walleye, I better bring her home some walleye. <laughs> there we go, that, there's that piece. That piece is done. There we go. We got two super nice pieces of meat. And I'm actually gonna cut up that pike real quick and show you guys cutting up the pike. Then I'll save these two walleyes for cutting up off camera. But I'm gonna cut up that pie grill real quick and show you guys how I cut that up. And you're basically, when you get both of those sides of the walleye off, that's pretty much all you can get. Or that's what all I get. So you basically can just toss this. I usually will get a garb or a grocery bag and just throw everything in the grocery bag and tie it up, then throw it in the garbage. So there's my grocery bag right there. But check out that pike, guys. Really nice northern pike. Really healthy looking fish too. I caught him on a black and blue jackhammer. So that was really, really cool. He drilled it. I caught a bunch of northern pike today. That was awesome, a lot of fun up there in northern Michigan. But right now, like I said, you wanna just, I guess I'll start on on this side. Doesn't really matter what side you start on, but again, you wanna cut right behind the gill right there and angle your knife back like that. 
just like that. And these pike are super slimy, guys. It's crazy, but they're super good. Just like that. And then just like the wall, I cut right down the backbone. So I can feel that backbone right here, guys. You want to just work it right along the backbone. And you're gonna get a ton of meat off this big northern pike. Just following that backbone just like I did with that other wall axe. It's the same thing, guys. When you get up to the rib cage, just cut right around those ribs. And you're done with that piece. And you wanna, what I do, is right when you see that white piece where the color changes, that's where I usually end the fillet. So I'm just cutting it off real quick right here. And check out that huge piece. That is gonna be super good, guys. I can't wait to eat this later with uh, my fiance. She's gonna be super pumped. She's not even home right now. She's gonna be really excited about this fish. And then you just do the same thing with the other side. And I'm actually going to show you guys how I cut these pieces up real quick and then I'll do this. So when you get all your fillets done, this is normally what I do. I cut them in little chunks. So I'll show you what I do real quick. That's a pretty solid piece. I'll just cut it right there and then just follow the skin down just like that. And just keep your blade right along the skin to where you're not cutting any of the meat. So I'm just cutting it in sections like this. So I can probably cut it and so I can probably cut this one into a couple more sections. So just like that. You wanna work your blade just like that and get all these little pieces off so you can put batter on them and chow down. These things are gonna be really, really good. But here's another one really simple guys I've been cleaning fish for a long time I just really wish I had my fillet knife it's almost embarrassing to not have it also guys another cool tip when you're cutting like these bigger fillets I'll show you again on this pike but I always cut a hole right there at the end so I can hold on to it and really be able to get that last piece off just like that and I'll do the pike real quick. So we've got four pieces off that walleye, that first walleye. That's super good. But I'm gonna cut up this pike real quick and show you guys how I do the pike. So right there, that's a huge piece. Cut that off right there. And just keep your blade down to where you're getting a ton of meat. like that and then here is the tip that I do I always poke a hole just like this and then I can stick my finger in here and really be able to hold it just because it's slimy and hold it just like that and get the last piece off but there we go that is super cool guys figured I would do a little um, video showing you guys how to cut up one of the walleyes and cut up the pike. I didn't do this side yet, but I want to just make this video short. Just a quick little video showing you guys how um, to clean your walleye and to clean your pike. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and we will see you guys in the next one.